This was the first weekend that both Nick Saban and Bell Belichick lost in forever. Alabama's loss to rival Auburn basically crushing their chances of making the playoff. You see they have less than a 1% chance of getting in. So what happened in their season? It began to go downhill, of course, in week 11 when Joe Burrow and the LSU Tigers won at Bama by hanging 46 points on them. It snapped Alabama's eight-game winning streak against LSU. A week later, we saw what happened with star quarterback Tua Tango Vailoa injuring his hip against Mississippi State, an injury that would requires season-ending surgery. Mac Jones takes over at quarterback, and he was at that position this past Saturday in the Iron Bowl when Auburn put up 48 points in an upset over their in-state rival, essentially knocking Alabama out of playoff consideration. And again, we are now entering something we've never seen before, and that is a college football playoff without Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide, and the great Paul Feinbaum is with us here. And, and I've heard it speculated. I will ask it to you, whose opinion on this I think I value more than anyone's. Do we have to start getting used to this? Is the era of Nick Saban dominating college football coming to an end? Yes, it is. And it's been happening very slowly for a couple of years. But I think over the last couple of months, we've seen it. It started with the 28-point blowout to Clemson. Saban said, we have to get the Alabama factor back. It didn't happen. Uh, it has been a really disappointing season. People are saying, are you kidding? Uh, Alabama went 10 and 2, and they're still ranked in the top 10. But that's, that's the difference in Alabama. A couple of reasons why, Greeny. Uh, staff turnover has been a, a constant churn, especially on the defensive side. Recruiting uh, is an issue. They're still number two or three in the recruiting, but they're being pressed hard by Clemson and Georgia. And I'll say this. Uh, I know that everyone will be surprised to yeah. know that I covered the end of Bear Bryant tenure about 38 years ago mm -hmm. as a young reporter. Yes, young. And I saw some of the very same signs. He's considered the greatest coach of all time. Saban surpassed him. It looks very similar. And to the end of Bear Bryant's era, because slowly but surely people chip away. If I were to agree with you in this circumstance, I would say that I don't believe Alabama has come back to the pack. I think they sort of set a template, a blueprint, that others have followed and others have sort of caught up. Dabo Sweeney has caught up. Georgia is right. coming on exactly. strong. Ohio State, perhaps you could say, has caught up. What do you say? Yeah, I think it's crazy to sit here and say that Nick Saban and Alabama are done. It, I mean... Two years ago, he wins the national championship. Last year, they lose one game in the national yeah, championship. Yeah, we're not saying he's done. We're saying this dynasty window is closing very tightly. They're the, very, they're the youngest team in America. No team has played more true freshmen than Alabama. Guess what happens in two years? All those true freshmen are going to be juniors. They're going to be really good football players. The passion, did you watch Saban on the field? Sure. Even in that loss. The, look, does this look like a guy who's going to lose his dynasty? The passion that he has on the football one, field? One last point, like, Dan. The difference between then and now is we're talking about this on a daily basis. That is a problem when you're a legendary coach and you're I, 68 years old. I think when you're old. great, Nick Saban's the greatest college football coach ever, arguably. When you're great, you decide when it's over. Yeah. I, and, and I don't think you let others. I don't know. I, you sound like an Alabama fan. I have a couple of thoughts on that because there's one. He, he dominated with defense all that time. Yes. And the game has changed sure. to where maybe you can't do that anymore. And we have seen him fight that tooth and nail. And maybe it's starting right. to get away. Much more on this as we go. Marcus Spears, who played for Nick Saban in college, will join us with his thoughts as well. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.